All right, guys, welcome to the flight deck from a very lonely Jack's RC. It's Thursday morning. I'm in between uh, rain bands. You can see there, that's what just came through, headed off the coast. And uh, so I decided to venture on out here, try and get a couple of flights in before they're saying around noontime, the rain is going to return. So here I am all by myself on the deck. What has become probably my favorite plane to fly, the FMS F7F Tiger Cat, Spectrum 6S 7000 up front, getting about six minutes, probably could go six and a half, maybe even seven. Uh, most of these flights you've seen on my channel, none of them have been uh, at full throttle. I'm usually around half to three quarter throttle on these flights and uh, absolutely love the plane guys. Uh, everything that's uh, great that's been said about it uh, really does it no justice until you actually get this thing in the air and, and try and fly it. It's a it's a trainer it really is uh, and uh, I definitely think this could be someone's first aircraft uh, without a doubt. Uh, uh, based on its flying characteristics, it just, I mean, I tried to stall it the other day and it, it didn't do anything. It just, it just sat there. I mean, it was incredible. All right, guys, enough talking for me. Let's get this baby in the air. Take it off to the north. And there's little to no wind right now. Uh, but what there is, is coming from right there. And, uh, all right. Let's go. F7F Tiger Cat cleared for takeoff. We are cleared for takeoff. I've moved to low rates. This baby is plenty docile in scale form on low rates. No flaps. That was a full throttle takeoff. I'm now back to about half throttle. You guys have been watching my couple of my latest videos you know i'm in incorporating uh some slow-mo shots uh within the video uh those i think are doing pretty well again that's a nasty cloud right there but i believe all that's headed away from me Minutes. Just an awesome. Trying to avoid hitting that crane down there. That would not be good under no circumstances. I thought, uh, for, for those of y'all that watched the maiden flight, uh, I thought she was a little sensitive. So, my rates, let me clarify my rates. I'm at 50, 50% 50 on rates. And I thought on my maiden flight, she was a little elevator sensitive, but uh, I, I really don't think she is. Uh, at 50%, uh, it's, very, uh, it's very docile. And like you said, if you've watched my landings, this thing lands, I said, like I said, it's a trainer. It really is. Um, and the landings are just as peaceful as could be. Again, this is version two. It has the reflex gyro in it. Time remaining, four minutes. And we are in AS3X mode right now. And I do have a mix, aileron to uh, rudder, and that mix is at 8%. That right there will be a good slow-mo pass. Pardon me. Yeah, that tail just drooped just a little bit on uh, too much for me. 
uh, on the maiden flight. So I installed that mix. I originally had it at five and have since brought it up to 8%. And uh, you can see my turns are nice and flat and that tail just kind of kind of is in a good position with that mix. Try to get a close-up pass coming from this direction. Time remaining three minutes. Again, another slow-mo pass. If I can get it, well, no, nope, this ain't gonna be a good one. <laughs> Just awesome. The gnats are a little bothersome. I'm sure you can see those on the camera. I haven't done any aerobatics with the plane, no rolls, no loops as of yet. Uh, I'm just enjoy flying or scale. Um, and again, my rates are at 50, so I don't even know if I could do a roll with the rates at 50. I think my mid rates at 70 and my high rates are at 90. I do have the high rate on the on the rudder at 125 uh, for turning purposes on the ground because she didn't have the there's a nice slow-mo pass there Um, she didn't have the turn in radius um, out of the gates with the rudder at 100%. But 130, I think, 125 or 130 uh, is the ticket for that to fix that problem. Again, there's my throttle. Just below three quarters. Nice low presentation there. That is the Iceman way right there. From those of y'all watching my videos in the past, you know that's how I like to get her on the deck. And I like to use the whole field. And, si and since I'm out here by myself, what the heck? <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna get on to me. Timer at one minute. We're F7F going. F7F Tiger Cat cleared to land. We are cleared to land. We'll do a gear pass here. We got a jet in the background right there. Gear pass is good. 30 seconds. Takeoff flaps. Takeoff flaps coming in. Landing flaps. Landing flaps. Again, we're not about a half throttle. Little high. Quarter of a throttle. Off the throttle. And she is in glide mode. A little bit of a flare. Switch to high rates. Like I said, guys, <laughs> that right there is a trainer. <laughs> that landing um, was a little harder. I um, I might have to revisit that 50% uh, elevator on low rate, and I may have to go to 60 on just the elevator. Uh, that landing was a little harder uh, than what uh, than what I would like. Um, but still, I mean, you saw turn on final. Uh, I was off the throttle, and she was she was a glider. I mean, just glided in and uh, perfect, awesome. F seven F Tiger Cat from FMS. We're gonna recharge the seven thousand and hopefully get another flight in.
All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching the flight deck from Jax RC, the FMS F7 Tiger Cat, and the Iceman. We'll see you next time.